guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Margarita, and if you're not, hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, I am in a different location background. I am filming at my Thea's house because I am on vacation right now, kind of, ish, I don't know, whatever. I'm just here with the flow. For today's video, I am testing out Makeup Revolution makeup, like first impressions, uh, wear tests. I've never used any of their products before so today is the first time that I'm gonna be using it so I'm gonna go ahead and open up what we got in here oh the reason why I have this bag is because if you spend $15 or more at Ulta from Makeup Revolution you do get a bag you get a bronzer two lip products and a highlighter so that's a couple more things I didn't have to buy or spend surprisingly <laughs> So I have, I got foundation, a primer, banana powder, an eyebrow pencil, a concealer, two lip products that came with it, an eyeliner, some mascara, bronzer that came with it, and a highlighter that came with it, an eyeshadow palette. Yeah. And just the free bag that came with it, so. Before I start my makeup routine, I do put my eyebrows on, or draw them in, pull them in. And I have the Duo Brow Definer, and this is in the shade Light Brown. There it is. This is what it looks like. This is the eyebrow product. And then the spoolie on the other hand. This reminds me of like the wet and wild one. And I'm gonna just go ahead and swatch the color. Yep, it's light brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. Okay, so my eyebrows are on, done, filled in. I do have to clean them up with concealer so I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution concealer and this is in the shade C4. Brand new. <laughs> Almost broken. I don't know if Makeup Revolution has brushes but mm. it was cutting my circulation off. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing, I'm going to go ahead and use a primer. It is the Onyx Primer, and it's a blurring and mattifying black gel primer. So here is what it looks like. I don't know if you're supposed to shake it or not, but I'm going to shake it. Ew. And it's supposed to be a dropper. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna... I don't know how I feel about this. And I'm gonna just go ahead and blend this out. Okay. <laughs> it looks like I'm rubbing tierra. Okay. It looks like a frog. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know how I feel about this primer. Because uh, my face looks darker. Gray. Ashy. I don't know. Let's see, is my face look matte? Okay, so the next thing after primer, I do put foundation on. And I am using a stick foundation. This is in the shade F8. Is there any instructions how to use this? I've never used a stick foundation before. This is what the shade looks like. Go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand. Yeah, sure. Looks like me. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be full coverage or no coverage. Oh my gosh, I, okay. Just accidentally pressed too hard on it because now there's a chunk. <laughs> and I'm gonna go blend this out. Ooh, so far the coverage is really pretty. So far it kind of looks like it is a light to medium coverage foundation. Okay, so I have the foundation on, it's blended out. 
I do see that it is like a dewy foundation. It looks pretty good. It's covering really nicely and I really like, oh, I just like how it's like sitting on the skin. It could also be the primer or I could be having a really good skin day. But I'm gonna see if it is buildable because I do see a little bit of freckles peeping through here. Da, 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 just a bit here, da, 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 just a bit there. And I'm just blowing this out and see if it is buildable. Okay, yeah, so it is buildable. I don't see my freckles anymore right here. So yeah, if you do want to make this like a full coverage foundation, you can. Okay, so next I'm going to test out the, what's it called, concealer. I did it with my eyebrows, but you can't really tell too much about it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my normal places under the eye. I guess I didn't grab like a light enough color. I don't know. And then down the nose on the forehead and a bit on the chin. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. All my friends. I mean, so far with the concealer, I don't know if it really did anything. So far, it did set really nice on the foundation. I don't have any creases going on, thank goodness. But I mean, I just applied it, so. But still, you don't know. So next, I'm going to go ahead and do the Banana Light Foundation. This is baking powder. All right, got it. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Okay. Go ahead and grab another blender, and I'm going to go ahead and get this all right here under the eye because I do want to have a bright eye anywhere that I pretty much put my found my not my foundation my concealer I'm gonna go ahead and put this powder just so I can brighten it up and also I'm setting it so <laughs> then on the forehead a bit and then down the nose make our little whoop. so speaking about setting I didn't really see any face powder there and yeah, maybe just my local Ulta didn't have it and all that. So I'm just going to use like the remainder of this right here, this powder, and I'm just going to put it all over my face. Yeah, okay, I'm already here. And I'm just going to dust off like the rest of the powder too. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and apply some bronzer. Revolution Ultra Bronzer. It's actually a pretty big bronzer. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dip into here. And we'll see what's up. Ooh. <laughs> A bronzer that I have been using a bit is the Hula Bronzer. First Impression Benefit Cosmetics. I'll go ahead and link that so you can watch that. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to be bronzer happy today. I don't have blush. I was looking really hard. And I don't think that they sell blush or either at my Ulta they just didn't have blush and all that. I did have to ask someone if they had blush and they were like, no. I was like, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the concealer again and I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelid and I'm going to go ahead and start my eyeshadow look. Okay, so I primed both of my eyes or concealed both of my eyes and I put some powder. Now I'm going in with this palette. It is called the Basic Mattes. It's the Revolution Reloaded Basic Mattes. And yeah, there's no names. It's only between like 1 through shade 15. So yeah. Um, like I said, there's all matte. So I guess I'm going for a matte eye look today. I'm going to go ahead and grab my e.l.f. crease brush and I'm going to dip into this shade right here, which should be shade 4. Tap it off and I'm going to go ahead and apply this in the crease. You guys are probably like, Margarita, is that a brown palette? Yes, it is a brown palette. I'm going to go ahead and grab a blending brush and blend this out. I saw it and I was like, oh, those are cute, but I also saw it on sale, so I was like, it's even cuter. I paid $3.49 for the palette. Um, they did say, the Ulta employees did say that they're discontinuing it. Like, Makeup Revolution is discontinuing these palettes. Um, I guess the Reloaded palettes or something like that. There was a couple of them. Go ahead and pick up a little bit more with the crease brush. And I'm just going to blend that color a little bit more in here. I'm going to go ahead and grab a larger crease brush. And I'm just going to grab this shade right here, which is either 11 or 15. And I'm just going to put that on the outer corner of my eye. Go ahead and blend this up and marinate these two colors just on the outer corner. And I do want to sweep it a little bit towards the middle. Pretty cute basic eye. Duh, basic mattes, basic eye. 
And I'm going to go ahead and grab this shade 1, I guess, with the middle finger. And I'm just going to put this on the eyelid. Just to give it, like, try to have my eyelid open. Or my eye open, I guess. More awake. And I'm going to go back with this shade right here and a little bit of this shade. And I'm going to just tap that off. And I'm going to go ahead and blend a little bit more in the middle, outer, and inner. All three. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and try this Renaissance Flick. It's an eyeliner. It's an intense longwear black felt eyeliner. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Go ahead and pop it out of the casing. Case? Question mark? I don't know. So this is what the eyeliner looks like. It is a felt tip. Here, and I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, that was running, but very like, I don't know. I don't know if it dries down matte or shimmery, or matte or shiny, so we'll find out. And I'm going to go ahead and do a wing, maybe? Ooh, she got a little thick. Oops. All my friends, Oh yeah, so far I like this. Alright, so I am back. I have both eyes on, or both the other one on, whatever, I don't know. So next I'm going to do the mascara. This is the Mascara Revolution. Yeah, that's it. That was satisfying. Let's go ahead and open it. Really hope the wand's not big. And the wand is big. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and start to apply it on my lashes. Is a little higher. Oh, this feels really chunky. I don't know, like the formula feels thick. Oh, okay. Okay, the mascara is lifting. Okay. Okay, so far the mascara. Okay. I'm digging. Okay, my eyelashes just look, I don't know, thick. So the next thing is I'm doing, I'm going in with highlight. This is the Ultra Straw Straw Balm, and this is in the shade Euphora. And yeah, so it's, I'm looking at it, and it looks like it's like a cream. Oh yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and just apply it. Hopefully it doesn't move my makeup. And then I'm just going to take this brush right here and just kind of swirl into it. Oh man. I feel like this is going to mess up my makeup. I really hope it doesn't. And I'm going to go ahead and just... Okay, she cute. She cute. My makeup still intact. So the last thing is, are the lips. I have this shade, and this is in Dual Matte. And this one is No Perfection Yet. But I'm going to go in with Dual Matte. It's a red lipstick. Look at that. Go ahead and swatch it right here. And I'm going to go ahead and apply to my lips. Okay. Don't feel like this red. It's okay. It's pretty sheer. I did have to build it up a bit. Um, but yeah. Let me... I'm going to try and find my eyelash curler and curl these lashes. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> it's a little higher. Alright guys. So I'm done. I curled my lashes and you know, I put it back question mark I don't know but yeah so let's talk about what happened I guess so my thoughts on the first whole impressions the eyeshadow palette I did like it um it is the basic matte so um it's pretty basic and all that the eye look is really pretty you can go like for a glam look natural look soft look um because it ranges from like light to dark so that's actually pretty cool next the concealer do I like the concealer I don't know yet um it made it honestly kind of made my skin look more like natural wise. I mean, I guess that's a good thing uh, for those makeup no makeup look days. The foundation I actually really enjoyed the stick foundation. I like it a lot. I've never tried any stick foundation before. The primer I don't know if I like it or not because it's a black gel primer. I don't think I've tried a gel primer to be honest, let alone a black gel primer. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'm gonna have to play around with it a bit more so I'm not sure it did sit on the face pretty well with the foundation and the concealer so so far so good the banana powder I enjoyed it I like it I mean it's pretty much powder I don't know if it gives me flashback but I'll find out later maybe question mark maybe not I don't know the bronzer really good um it blended out like a dream 
what can I say? The eyebrow pencil, I'm not too sure if I like it or not. I have to test it out a little bit more. But so far, meh. The mascara, it is a bit chunky. Maybe mine was just drying out. I don't know. It's kind of weird why it would even dry out. It did its job. My eyelashes are lit up before I even curled them. The felt eyeliner tip, I really enjoyed it. I did like it. It's really easy, really quick to apply. The lipstick, um, it is sheer. Like, it was sheer when I first swiped it on, but then I build it up. And so far, it turned out good, so yeah. And the last product is this Ultra Strobe Balm. I'm not really a big cream person, but I mean, the highlight's really pretty. Really happy it didn't mess up my makeup and all that. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do check-ins, and we'll see about what goes on later. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So, a quick update. It's been about like two and a half, almost three hours, and I'm getting oily right here. All right here, but that could also be from just me being oily. I haven't gotten anywhere yet, so I'm gonna powder up real quick. I'm just gonna use the Milani face powder. So I better. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting really greasy at this point. Now it is 9:13, but I have an oily face, so. Looks like you don't have eyebrows. Where do you think I get the ends of my eyebrows from? Hey guys, so it is day two. I am trying out or testing out the Makeup Revolution um, makeups. Yesterday, it got like really oily in my T area, like over here. My nose just got like really bad and it was breaking up and I had to like powder my face and all that. But today, I let the bake sit on there a little bit longer and I did put like powder on my nose just to see like what's up. But yeah, today, here's today's makeup look. Very light, very simple. Um, yeah, so. I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, it is 7.38 and as you can see, my makeup is still on here. Am I a little bit greasy? Yeah, a little bit, but it's probably massa loose, but um, <laughs> your girl's still doing pretty okay. Pretty A-O okay. Yes, I really do like this eyeshadow. Like the eyeshadow palette is actually really good. Hey guys, so it is 10.15. I am ready to go to bed. Um, just want to do the last check-in and um, yeah so far um, I don't know what's going on I guess this mascara is flaking don't know why it's doing that um, I didn't even curl my eyelashes today I noticed that yesterday but I was like um, overall I really do like everything the only thing I didn't like was the strobe light just down my nose because I do get really oily but on the side it turned out really nice but all the products I did really like them yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did let me know what you guys want to watch next and I'll see you guys in the next video bye yeah.